Hey guys, welcome back to Birkadix Garage. We are with Rob. He's playing a bit in the Audi S3 on the in this one. We are making a hole in the bonnet and we are finally doing the valve bonnet exhaust. Alright guys, so on uh, day two of the work, <laughs> Rob has been having fun playing with the down pipe. My. <laughs> Removing it and putting it back on is your favorite thing, isn't it, no, right now? it's really not. <laughs> but anyway, at least now we've got a design. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah. I've got it spotlighted. I'll let you explain it. So, what we've done, we've cut the top corner out of the... Um, I'm out of breath because I just put the downpipe back on. <laughs> yeah, so, maybe remove those bits first, I guess, to yeah, kind of see the downpipe a bit better. You can see we fitted a thick Schedule 10 cast elbow into the back of the elbow. So we've cut it in and we fitted a V-band on the top. We will have another, the other half of the V-band on there. And then bring the valve. A little, we're going to put a little bit of pipe, bring the valve in there, I reckon. Yep. This we can always turn around as well, we'll to point that. more up, so yeah. then we can reuse the factory. That mode. is a vacuum boost line. Yep. So when it's on boost, it will open and we will have a nice pie cut exhaust. Yeah, Coming so then after way. we'll have another V-band here so that we can switch from stainless, from stainless to titanium. Back to titanium. Back to titanium, to titanium. Yeah. And, um, and from there, just titanium pie cuts to look cool. And straight out, out through the bonnet. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be another tense moment, isn't it? Making uh, a hole into the bold bonnet. Yep, we'll probably end up cutting through the most awkward bit. Yeah. No, no, no. To be honest, this is stuff you can remove to bloody weight reduction too. Yeah, well, if it does get too flappy, we'll brace it up yeah. across there to pick up the edge, because I reckon it's probably going to be there. Yeah. Somewhere. We'll shut the bonnet and hope it leaves a circle. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a goal, isn't it? Yeah. A bit of paint or something that mark, a bit of grease. Yeah. Got enough of that everywhere. <laughs> yeah, just rub your finger, your yeah, hand like that yeah. on it. Jump I'll just rub it on my face and it'll leave <laughs> a black ring on there. <laughs> yeah, so that's so. basically the plan, guys. As you see, it's uh, pretty damn tight in here, so. There's no room. We've got the aircon pipe, we've got the brake reservoir. Which is maybe why. This is we are the first to do the fuck that mode. <laughs> <laughs> this is why no one else does it. Alright guys, day three of uh, making the bonnet exhaust. Rob is in the van welding away. Welding on the valve is finished. Welding the second V-band to the downpipe. And as you can see on the inside, what we went for is Originally, we sort of wanted to go from the turbo to the valve straight away, but there is not enough room in there, so what we went with instead is basically the second V-band kind of scoop the inside. There we go. So basically, under normal load, no boost, you can still go down there with the valve closed, but then when the valve is open, there is still a flow that is kind of like up first kind of situation basically because we want most of the flow to go through the valve when it is open and then here we just got rub welding away welding away the valve which is a bit tricky because of that getting in the way from my understanding yep well i think i've just done it it's a which is why oh little uh, yeah <laughs> Yeah. Lovely colour, isn't it? Yeah. It's just sharpening the um, welding bit. Tungsten. Welding bit is a professional term, but yeah. alright, tungsten if you want. Yeah. Anyway, 
Let him think, crack on. No, I think we've done it. Oh. There we go. Can bother him now, he's finished. Very nice. So, I'll let that cool down, take that V-band off. You have to leave the V-band on so it doesn't distort when you're welding it. Then after the next step, I guess, will be what? V-band at the top? Yeah. Um, and then put... you can start, yeah, and then we can put the titanium other V-band and can start with the pie cut. What? That's the one. Getting really close to the sexiest bit. Yeah, the exciting bit. And while Rob does that, I'm going to try to make the remote control for the valve work, which is on top of the vacuum control so you can override it to keep it closed all the time or open all the time and yes i did the opposite sign with my hand right that's our little valve system we've got the remote and if you can hear it works as expected with this a little remote no instruction came in the kit so now we just need to figure out the piping and hook it up to the valve so we can start uh, testing it as well and the beauty is in the fuse box this box actually fit in the fuse box so we'll be able to route the cable so they are basically mostly out of the way you wouldn't really see it because uh, we'll just shove it in there somewhere and we can reuse the stock mount there to actually uh, yeah hook it up so yeah, that's the progress on that. Pipe right. going in for the last time. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> so I've got rid of all the lip round there. Just moved it all out. Just moved yeah. the back edge. Nice. So it's all shiny. And all that, so there's no edge there to stop any airflow. Yeah. Nice. And hopefully that bottom bit will scoop it upwards and that indoors. And here we go guys, it is all done. So uh, I guess can you... I've been doing, so I've done some bits and pieces. Um, we've got, uh, what did I, what did we, where did we leave off? I'm just trying to remember. Uh, um, last time I think we'd done the downpipe. Done the downpipe and we started putting the flap mechanism together with the V-bands on either side. Yeah. And so, now, for now, done. we've got the high cut titanium pipe there. And the V-band on the top, this is the exhaust flap that opens and closes. Still got to do a little bit tidying up inside, but it's going to get sooty anyway. So, got the V-band on the top there that connects, holds this pipe on, and then um, we've got the control pipes running along here to a vacuum shut-off valve. Yeah. And this we know it's not that clean, guys. Is because as you already know. An air box is going to come here, so we will clean and hide that out of the way when we actually get down to do the air box. And then the whole electronic. Actually fit in here, so that's a remote control stuff. Yeah. All connected and basically that's the stuff that activates the override here. Yep. So this, rather than being just a coiled up wire, this is the antenna for the remote control. You've got a power feed coming off the permanent lives that are at the front of the fuse box. You've got an inline fuse for safety. And then um, the control box. It basically operates the solenoid valve. Are we open or closed? We are closed at the moment. All right.
looks pretty good. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, result guys, it's all done. We'll uh, do another episode obviously where you know we take it out. We we put some, yeah, more work to do as well. Here we kind of want to put a surround. Yeah. And eventually we'll go around and have an opening mechanism. Yeah. So well, here uh, it's kind of like phase one, but the second phase is basically you'll have like a diaphragm, like a camera. Yeah, I think uh, an iris. An iris, iris that's iris it. Lens. Yeah. Just for extra coolness. But yeah. And remember, doesn't have a flame tune, so you know. That's just on the stage yeah. two tune, isn't it? Yeah, the stage two tune, performance, no pops and bangs or, or anything, so pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. Make sure you uh, check out Gonzo Custom. In the description, I'll put a link. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Plenty of more mad stuff like that coming up. I'm already talking with Rob about uh, making the exhaust of the MX-5 pop out and the Corvette when it works will definitely do something It'll mental get, there. Get some treatment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway guys, see you in the next one. Goodbye.